Have you ever wondered why Madagascar is home to such a unique and diverse range of wildlife? This enormous island, positioned off the southeastern coast of Africa, is a treasure trove of biodiversity, boasting a staggering 90% of wildlife that is found nowhere else on the planet. The island's isolation has allowed for the evolution of a myriad of fascinating creatures, like the enigmatic lemurs, with their wide eyes and playful antics. Over a hundred species of these primates roam Madagascar's forests, each with its own quirks and characteristics. Then there are the chameleons, masters of disguise, ranging from tiny pygmy species to the large Parsons chameleon. And let's not forget the myriad of other unique animals like the fossa, the tomato frog, and the tenrec. Madagascar's wildlife is a testament to the wonders of evolution, an intricate dance played out over millions of years. Nowhere else on Earth can you find such a captivating array of wildlife making Madagascar a true wonder of nature. How did Madagascar come to be the world's fourth largest island teeming with biodiversity? It's a tale that begins some 88 million years ago when Madagascar embarked on a journey of its own. Once a part of the supercontinent Gondwana, Madagascar was nestled comfortably next to what we now call India. But as the Earth's tectonic plates shifted, Madagascar and India began to separate, a slow and steady parting that spanned millions of years. This colossal split led to Madagascar's isolation, and with it, the birth of a unique and diverse ecosystem. Cut off from the rest of the world, life on Madagascar took its own course, evolving in ways that left us with the unparalleled biodiversity we marvel at today. From the myriad species of lemurs to the mesmerizing chameleons, Madagascar's wildlife is a testament to the wonders of evolution in isolation. This isolated evolution has shaped Madagascar into an island like no other. What if you had the chance to meet your ancestors not just once, but every few years? In Madagascar, this is a reality. The Malagasy people uphold a unique tradition known as Famarihana, or the turning of the bones. Every five to seven years, families come together for a joyous reunion with their ancestors. The tombs are opened, and the remains of the departed are carefully exhumed. With respect and reverence, they are rewrapped in fresh burial clothes. This isn't a mournful event. Quite the opposite, Famarihana is a time of celebration. Families share stories, play music, and dance with the rapt remains, reconnecting with their roots and paying homage to those who came before them. Through this tradition, the Malagasy people express their belief in the interconnectedness of life and death, and the ongoing influence of ancestors in the world of the living. In Madagascar, the past is always present, and ancestors continue to play an active role in the lives of the living. How does a country with such rich biodiversity face one of the world's most severe deforestation crises? This is the plight of Madagascar, an ecological gem that is rapidly losing its sparkle. Over 85% of the island's original forests have been felled, a consequence of unsustainable farming practices and illegal logging. The loss of these forests not only threatens the unique wildlife that calls them home, but also the very survival of the Malagasy people, who rely on these resources for their livelihoods. But there's hope. Conservation efforts are underway from reforestation projects to community-based initiatives that focus on sustainable farming. International organizations, local NGOs, and the Malagasy government are joining forces to tackle this environmental crisis head-on. The challenge is enormous, but every tree planted, every policy enforced, and every community engaged is a step towards a greener, more sustainable Madagascar. The fight for Madagascar's future is a fight for its forests. What if I told you that Madagascar was once a pirate paradise? Yes, you heard it right. In the late 17th and early 18th centuries, this island nation served as a sanctuary for seafaring outlaws. The reason? Its numerous secluded coves and the lack of European power. The island's strategic location in the Indian Ocean made it an ideal base for pirates preying on ships laden with riches from the east. Madagascar's pirate history is populated with infamous names like William Kidd and Thomas II, who found refuge in these uncharted waters. These buccaneers established a self-governing community known as Libertalia, where they were free from the laws and moral codes of conventional society. Here they lived by their own rules, sharing plunder equally and championing liberty. But this pirate utopia was short-lived, and by the mid-18th century, European powers had reasserted their control. While the pirates are long gone, their legends live on in the stories and folklore of Madagascar. Have you ever seen a forest made of stone Welcome to the Singhi formations of Bamaraha National Park, an otherworldly landscape like no other. These unique limestone spires, sharp enough to cut through a rubber shoe sole, were sculpted by the relentless forces of water and wind over centuries,
creating an intricate maze of jagged pinnacles. The name Tsingi was derived from the Malagasy word meaning where one cannot walk barefoot, a fitting description for this vast labyrinth of stone. It's a testament to the resilience of life as various species of plants and animals have adapted to thrive in this seemingly inhospitable environment. This stone forest is not just a geological marvel, but also a biological hotspot, home to several species found nowhere else on Earth. The Singhi formations stand as a testament to the power of time and nature's ability to create art, reminding us of the planet's enduring mystery and the wonders that await in the most unexpected corners of the world. Despite its natural wealth, why is Madagascar one of the poorest nations in the world? It's a question that probes the paradox of a land abundant in biodiversity, yet struggling economically. Madagascar's economic status is overshadowed by a myriad of challenges, notably in development and infrastructure. The nation grapples with issues like limited access to quality education, inadequate healthcare services, and poor road networks, which hinder trade and economic growth. Furthermore, the country's heavy reliance on agriculture makes it vulnerable to the harsh impacts of climate change and weather-related disasters. Efforts to improve the quality of life for its citizens are underway, with international aid and local initiatives focusing on sustainable development, education, and healthcare. However, these efforts face an uphill battle against deeply ingrained social and economic issues. The path to prosperity in Madagascar is steep, but the spirit and resilience of its people are unyielding. 